Hello everyone, uh, this is Kai. I, I want to um, give you up to date on all the development that has gone in with the CSR ELP, um, the CSR uh, automation controller. Uh, quite a few developers has, has contributed and put in a lot of work in, in improving the, the usability of this uh, automation package for CSTAR. So I want to take this opportunity to thank them and as well as demo what's, what's, what's available right now. Um, the, the agenda here is I would like to show you all the new, uh, hopefully new features that we have been added um, as well as a, as a upcoming feature I'm just about to, to check in soon um, that would do, uh, allow you to control a federation of arrays to do uh, very selective mosaics and stuff and schedules. Um, in here, um, I want to show you uh, some of the very, uh, very cool things that uh, um, that can be done with just a web page. Um, so we now have a a simple CSR controller, which is a web page that directly interact with the CSR help daemon. Um, if you don't, uh, if you want to have more context of all this, what, what I'm talking about, um, look at my channel and you will see some of the background information about how it's all put together before. Um, in version two and all the upcoming um, uh, rev that's, that will be uh, on, on live soon, um, you would see this new web controller as well as a live view um, and some of the mosaic and uh, federations that I'm going to talk about. Okay, <clears throat> so in this one, it's actually a I started this from a from a Chrome browser, and it's I'm pointing to a specific port. And if I do that, um, it'll give me this home page, which if you can see, I have three C stars configured that I can control directly from here. Um, all this is uh, sending commands back uh, back and forth from this web page to the CSTAR help daemon, which ultimately controls the CSTAR. So for example, here I can look at the, this home page, give you a basic idea on the um, basic statistics of this specific CSTAR. Uh, it was either on the free space, the battery, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, <coughs> From here, uh, if you want to control a different um, device, you can do this right here. In which case, it will switch to that second device. Uh, but let's go back to the first one. <coughs> so the very basic thing you can do is you just want to capture a, a image, uh, capture a target. From here. You could um, <clears throat> enter a a target, and it will search the web database to find the location. So you don't have to look it up anymore. It's all you can search internally, and it will give you the the right RA and declination. You can also, if you have configured with Stellium, that you can. Um, uh, go to um, browse through this uh, Sky Atlas in Stellarium, and if you click this, the current uh, target position will be automatically pinned here. And you can also enter manually on any name and location. And location, we actually take it in quite a few different uh, formats now. And you can even use J2000 or JNOW. Um, you can enter the exposure time. Uh, total session time, the gain, uh, like pollution filter, or all focus. That's very basic. <clears throat> um, here is something cool that's that's been added. There is a live view that automatically take in um, the image acquired uh, streaming from the um, from C star. So before, as you know, uh, for stargazing. You cannot uh, uh, you cannot stream 
images uh, in stargazing mode. Uh, that's when they all that. But with uh, with this, now you can. Um, s since this is, uh, my arm is on the C-star, is, is aiming straight down, so you won't see anything. But let's uh, go to scenery. And I'm going to... Let's see. I want to tell it to move up. Let's move it to horizon. So what I've done now is that uh, I've told my, one of my my CSI beta to move up the horizon, and there it is. So you can see uh, we see see the uh, live view of that. Um, you can also there's also a joystick, so you can actually control directly here. So you can actually move. There we go. So you can scan in and out. And we're going to add a focus a control. So you can actually auto focus or set manual control focus. So what's cool now is that if I go to star mode, Actually, for stars, um, you need a darker sky to see it. Uh, right now, it's, it's kind of saturated, so that's why you see blank. But if I move it, you can probably see flash or some things. Yeah, it's actually moving now. But let's go back to scenery so you can actually see it. something that's farther away so you can see there we go some trees so now you, instead of trying to figure out how to use the streaming service you can just open a browser and you can actually see the live views directly on the browser this is so cool um uh, one contributor uh and main developer now is has, has added this really awesome feature thank you <clears throat> so um let's go back and kind of give you some of the some of the flow that you can do so let me move it back park it so what it does is that it moved arm back so all these commands now uh, have a nice GUI in front, so it's, it's it's easier to use if you're used to just a web front end, and it's kind of kind of simplify a lot for you. Now, um, what I do want to highlight now is uh, how to do mosaic. Um, actually, mosaic, it, um, <clears throat> it's uh, we added a few things that. Uh, it's just like an image, but in this case, let's try to do it again. It's Andromeda. And I can specify how big the mosaic I want to be. Now, this is really optimized for EQ mode. You can also do an os osmoth um, mode as well, but the overlap needs to be higher. So for, for EQ, let's say I'm doing a 3 by 4 Uh, for EQ, we recommend 20% overlap. For the other mode, uh, we recommend around 50 or 45, 50%. Um, the other cool thing in here is that you can actually specify all of these 12 panels that I'm creating. For example, if I'm um, if I if I did this mosaic night before, but then the cloud rolled in and then it kind of obscure maybe a few of these panels, so I want to ca capture more data. I simply just enter the, 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 these uh, selected panels. For example, in this case, I'm picking uh, RA panel 2, uh, deck panel 2, and then similarly RA panel 2, uh, deck panel 3. And here I'm selecting three specific panels just collect for this session. So instead of collecting all 12, I'm only selecting these three. Um, um, 
the session time is as before is the total session time as if you're doing all of it so if I'm doing like a, say 1200 seconds this is um, equivalent to 100 seconds per panel and if I'm doing three sub panels I'll just select panels I'm still gonna keep this the way it is because I don't want to change every time I do a, a repeat um, all this is gonna do is that it's still gonna do these three sub panels and each of them is gonna do 100 seconds so this will be done in 300 seconds because I'm doing 3 out of 12 you can set the gain and stuff so if I if I do this um, I can again say set the light pollution and all focus I submit it it will actually go ahead and do the mosaic now but if if you want to schedule a night where you're gonna have multiple targets multiple mo mosaic and you want to do all kind of cool stuff you can actually use the scheduler so to do that let me do that instead so this is the interface for the scheduler um, right now let's clear the schedule and I want to create a brand new schedule let's say um, in the middle of the day I'm, I want to create uh, I want to start imaging around 9 30 at night I can see when the night time start there's a you can actually show the twilight when sunrise, when the astronomical uh, nighttime begin and ends. So let's just say I want to um, I want to wait until 9:30. So that's a 21:30. So the first thing I want to do, I don't I don't want to do anything until I want to wait until 9:30 at night. Then let's say I want to let's all focus at that time. So I can do that. And I want to focus to say auto try twice. So I'm building up my schedule now. So I'm, I'm waiting. Once I wait at that time, I'll auto focus. And let's just say that I know I want to. Um, uh, let's see. I want to. I wanted to use the light filter, light pollution filter, so I can add a schedule to say I want to make sure I use light filter. So there it goes. So enable light filter. And let's say I want to turn on the heater, do heater. And I want to use 90% uh, capacity. So I've set it up my schedule doing this. Now I'm ready for my mosaic. So I want to do my mosaic. It's just like before. So I'm going to do my Andromeda. Fill in there, let's say three by four. I want to do twenty percent of a lap, and again, let's do that sub panels. And I want to say six hundred seconds for twelve. So in this first subset of that thing, so I submit this. You notice the schedule will say I want to wait, do all my prep work. So I'll focus to heater, turn it on, and then start um, imaging my, my Andromeda. Let's say after that, I want to um, refocus again. So I'll, I'll focus again. Let's say I only try, let's say, three times. All right. And then they say my next target. Let's say I want to do... Uh, Let's just do a dummy target. And let's put some, if I put minus one, then it will just, uh, minus minus one, then it will just take the current position. And let's say do a, let's say do a one by one. One by one is essentially just that target. There's no mosaic. And then in that case, over that doesn't really matter. So it doesn't really matter. And this is matter. Leave it alone. Okay. And for this one, I want to do let's say 30, 306 seconds. Submit. So now I'm building up my schedule. So I'm doing stuff. I'll focus and then turn it on and then in here. I can keep on building, building, building. And then let's say afterward the end. Let's say. Um, Okay. 
Now, the good thing, cool thing about these is, is that we're not really limited to just these. It's anything that you can you can control, you can also put as a schedule. And we just haven't finished adding all these options in there, but it's it, it, there is limited, so you can put anything you want in here. So this is my schedule. So if I do that, once I'm satisfied with this, I can tell it to start, in which case it would just go ahead and and, uh, and wait until 9.30 and do all my all, all my work right here. Okay. Now, um, next thing I want to highlight in this case is that um, I want a way, because I have three of these devices, I don't want to do it over and over again and, and set up manually. So that's the next cool feature is that, that I'm going to, that I finished. I'm just going to check it in pretty soon. This is the federation feature. In which case, there, I want to be able to um, just set up a schedule like this, and I want to I want to this, the software to automatically divide up the, the task to do all this, so that um, so that it will it will spread all the chores to three all my connected devices. So in which case, it will just go through all this, and when it get to a mosaic, since I'm doing. Um, Let's say, uh, let's say, there, let's say there were twelve panels I want to do, and I have three devices. It will actually split each device to do four panels. Or if I have, let's say, I'm doing three panels or four panels, then it will know is far enough to know that okay, the alpha will have two panels and the other has one panel. Um, the other option is that I can instead of splitting, I just want to duplicate. In which case, it would all this do exactly the same thing so it's gonna go through these uh, these tasks and in, the, in which, which case I'm collecting three times as much uh, photons for the night okay? so if I have a hundred of these C stars I can do a hundred times uh, faster all right so if I do that um, I'll just say start uh, the next uh, video I'll show is how it's going to be uh, done in behind the scenes. Um, this current version has not enabled the federation one yet, but it, all that really would need to do is that instead of picking alpha, beta, uh, gamma, it's going to have a special option called federation. If I take that federation device, then every device that's connected will be automatically used to execute this schedule. Okay. All right. And I'll see you in a few. I'll give you an idea how that will work. Thank you.